there is one country that tops all the others put together in the venomous snake stakes. Australia. Its species of venomous snake outnumber the non-venomous ones. We've got the most venomous snakes, there's no doubt about that. All incredibly venomous. Australia is a big place with vast areas of unpopulated country. The snakes that live here are hardly pushed for space. Yet alarmingly, there are seriously venomous species that have adapted perfectly to the urban lifestyle of Australia's cities. Some eastern brown snake populations now thrive on a diet almost entirely consisting of house mice. A great pest control, perhaps, but being caught by the jaws of this mousetrap is surely worse than having a bad rodent problem. And they inject a good deal more venom than was previously thought, and like a lot of city dwellers, they're easily annoyed. The venom of the eastern brown is particularly unusual because it causes the blood to clot rapidly. However, if you survive, you may later die from hemorrhaging. But only by travelling to the remote regions of the Australian outback can we find the even more venomous and ominously named fierce snake. If that snake with that sort of venom was present in a highly populated area, I suspect you'd be dragging people out of the bush left, right and centre as they die. The fierce snake is also known as the inland taipan. It inhabits a harsh and extremely demanding environment. They specialize in hunting native desert mammals, and tracking prey down takes valuable energy, so failure is not an option. When the prey turns up, you want to make sure you grab it, you want to make sure you inject it, and you want to make sure it's going to die. So you give it a very potent venom, and you give it a heap of it. But fierce by name doesn't necessarily mean fierce by nature. This snake, with the most lethal venom known for any land animal, is hardly ever seen by a human being. It hunts and lives in holes and subterranean tunnels, rarely venturing into the open. But very similar toxins to those found in the fierce snake can also be found in a snake much closer to home. Around Australia's coastlines, we find a highly venomous sea serpent. The olive sea snake is gregarious and confident around human beings and can frequently approach divers and snorkelers. After 10 years working with them, sea snake expert Glenn Burns knows how to handle them safely. Just lift their tail up over the edge of the bank there. The male searching for females at the right time of year, any movement he's usually attracted to, which is why a lot of divers think they're being attacked. A male will come zooming up from the bottom, basically because they don't see very well. They think it's a potential mate, and they'll come zooming over to investigate. They need a powerful, fast-acting venom. If they don't disable the fish quickly, it will escape, and the meal is lost. But of all Australia's snakes, it's not the sea snake that comes out top, nor is it the serpent with the strongest of all venoms, the fierce snake. In Australia, it's the eastern brown snake, which ranks as the most dangerous to people. It is aggressive and fast moving. Fortunately, its fangs are relatively small and it rarely manages to cut through heavy clothing. Historically, eastern browns were thought to produce a tiny amount of venom, but recent studies suggest that this is not the case. And their venom has a rare blood clotting quality, which if delivered directly into the bloodstream, can kill a human in minutes. <laughs> 